Welcome to the mirrors, guys. Welcome to the movie factory. Ooh, so exciting, isn't it? Please, we can kill it. Ferocious are they? Don't try to put tiger bomb on this jungle. <laughs> as, as God just went yeah. off right <laughs> Paul <laughs> How are we living there fellas? That was good man First was episode good. of the year Yeah Yeah Ooh. It's, it's good weird to be back Yeah man It's weird that it's three months in Like we're a quarter of the year through Yeah Yeah It's like the first pod that's dropping But it was good to be back man Same mm. Same I was feeling it man Fucking belated Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Australia Day, or whatever the fuck else. Yeah, yeah there was yeah, Australia's yeah. in there. There was Australia's in there. <laughs> Couple yeah. strays there, man. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Easter's coming up soon. Yeah. Oh, no. Fuck. Hot cross buns been out since Jan. <laughs> I know. <laughs> then brioche hot, co- hot cross buns is fire, son. <sighs> Do you ever fuck with the fruitless hot cross bun? No. It's disgusting. What's the reason for that? <laughs> just no a, way. It's just a fucking bun at that point. <laughs> 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 But there's yeah. O's that do it. Yeah. Yeah. Get some help. <laughs> mm. <laughs> How you going there? I'm good. Yeah? I'm good, yeah. <laughs> Nobody got COVID. Yeah. Surprisingly. I thought I would have had it by now. Same. We went through a couple of waves on our side of like people getting COVID. Yeah. And it was just like isolation after isolation after isolation at work. The O's are just dropping like flies. Jeez. Yeah, like up to eight people COVID positive because we do the testing before we go in. Yeah. yeah. And because it's like you do it by yourself and mm. stuff and they just keep their distance. Yeah. They were just telling O's <laughs> oh, like whoa, whoa. Roll, <laughs> roll their windows up and get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Drive off and isolate for seven days. Jeez. Wild. But I never once got hit. No. Nah. Yeah. I'm waiting for it now. Can can you imagine if your work test was just the test from the thing, how they strap you to the fucking chair and then do the blood? <laughs> That's wild, man. And then what? Kill you? <laughs> 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 and then just flame throws you. <laughs> Fuck. That reminds me. I saw a prop from the thing and it was the 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 vials or the you know the the, the petri dishes they yeah. have and one of them had the blood jumping. I fucking want it, man. That's mad. Now we need it for the pod. Fucking yeah. oath. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll get this. <laughs> yeah, but starting off, episode 72. Mm. Streaming news. So uh, it looks like Netflix has actually worked out a deal with the old French government there. Yep. So mm. it looks like for, for the people in France, thank God, uh, the, the time periods are now shrinking. So currently, I think it's like, what, three years or something? Four yep. years? Something just crazy, right? Yeah. So they Netflix, you know, via a little uh, goodwill payment and uh, mm. a lot of talking, got that window down now mm. for theatrically released films. They will debut 15 months after they've debuted. Um, there's also a little, you know, workaround where, you know, some, you know, special films... That that's been chosen, mm. will be able to debut online straight away. Yep, on the France Netflix. Yeah, what was cool because France is so like they they really regard their their directors. Yeah, you know what I mean. And film is such a big thing for them, which mm. like I think it is throughout the whole world. But they were like, all right, but out of that, like you know, however much money you're investing in in the film industry here, seventeen mm. percent of that. Like, cash flow needs to go to indie films. Yeah. yeah. Which I thought was cool. Like, it's not just, like, these big budget sort of Netflix movies yeah. that come out. It was, um, like, the smaller sort of startups and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Giving them a chance to yeah. actually make their fucking name. Which is fire. I like yeah. that. Mm. Yeah. It's very fucking considerate for it's the movie industry out there. Yeah. 17%. 45 million. Yeah. Not that Make a film. It's at least like five mil. And Out if of it, how many indie films? So well, if that five mil spread over spread over five hundred indie films. Yeah, like it's not you know that much. But if an indie film like 
is like a million dollars. I don't think they're going to be making that many indie films. Hmm. What do you call it? Yeah, it's like $7 million. You split that between all the indie films. These kids might just be coming out of school and might only need like, you know, 50,000, 60,000. Yeah. yeah. I suppose it's US dollars as well. So it'll go, go a long way in francs. Yeah. Would it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's francs lower than the US dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. All right. Fucking power the US dollar is strong, dog. I'm excited mm. because like there's there's a lot of shit that came out of France back in the day mm. that like it has influenced movies till now. Mm. So yeah. many careers and, and um you know different different actors. Yeah. A lot of shit that's not coming out now as well. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Like I never knew it was a thirty six month fucking window in France. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you call it? I was learning the other day about Japanese theatre. Demos will um, air like a, an animated movie or show at a cinema in Japan, and they'll they'll strip uh, they'll have it there for months, maybe even years. The show was saying, "I don't go to the movies to go see an anime movie in Japan on the first day because it's packed." And he was like, "I'll go nine months later, and it's still packed." Yeah, I mean, you seen like Demon Slayer and shit like that, and mm. it was destroying at the box office. Big yeah. money, big big money. Fuck! But that's why that all that all that stuff comes out so late over here. Yeah, yeah, because th- there is no theatrical release over here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and also like you know the dubbing and stuff like that. Some yeah. of them won't dub. Some of them they'll send it through just straight Japanese with English subtitles. Yeah. The only dubbing I like is the old manga films. Ninja Scroll. Ninja yeah. Scroll, Wicked Street City. Street Fighter 2, the yeah. movie. Even Maybe. though Guile was just just a little over the top in that fucking street. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but that that wasn't just the voice, though. They animated that also <laughs> over the <laughs> no, top man. as well. <laughs> I mean, the man's got a haircut like an upside-down fucking volcano. Yeah. <laughs> I'll rip your fucking head off, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, keeping, with, um, keeping with Netflix, so uh, Netflix is developing this black samurai movie. Yeah. I forget the character, but Jim Kelly played him as well. Yeah. The, the character is literally black samurai. <laughs> yeah. But, it, like, his name is, like, Donald Glover or some shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a cool name. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he, he's, like, this, uh, this soldier. Yeah. And he... Um, I don't know if he just stays in Japan or he journeys to Japan or whatnot. It was because of the war, right? Yeah. But then does he does he stay after that? or no, does he stays. It, it's something like, like The Last Samurai. Or was he like a POW? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he's in Japan. But while he's in Japan, he learns all the most deadly martial arts <laughs> <laughs> from all these teachers. Um, and then he himself becomes like, you know, this, this force for good yeah. and it's almost like Kane from Kung Fu because he just walks the earth and has adventures yeah. he's a bum <laughs> <laughs> no legal tender no place of residence got no place of residence no, no legal tender we got a name for that it's called a bum <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, he says it is beautiful the, the line delivery is beautiful <laughs> so I'm like I'm wondering do they keep with like this black exploitation kind of feel like that Jim Kelly's movie would have been? Mm. Or did they, like, update it and make it, like, you know, the slick, dark kind of, um, you know, like, character development piece? Mm. Well, they can go that way, or they can just make a live-action Afro Samurai movie, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and let's hope Lakeith Stanfield isn't the, uh, isn't the O that they pick. Yeah. That is very dead in the voice sometimes. He is, man. That has got that limp dick kind of like <laughs> bass <laughs> force. I know. This man is permanently defeated. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I didn't Just say how old he is. Nah, but mm. I hope. Like, I just want Michael J. Michael J. White's that's doing what I was a whole thinking. lot of stuff over there right now. Yeah. At yeah. Netflix, and he's got his own production company now. Yeah. So, like, I'm hoping that they just get Michael J. White, man. As soon as I seen Black Martial Artist, I was yeah. like, Ma- Michael J. White. Well, Jim Kelly's gone. Yeah. yeah. Can't be Jim. Nah. It would have yeah. been nice to see Jim in a fucking cameo, though. That would have yeah. been cool. That would have been cool. How the fuck does John Saxon live longer than Jim Kelly? I don't know. And Kelly was in shape. All the time. Yeah. Jim Even when he Kelly. was old. Yeah. I don't I have no idea. Fuck. Maybe Saxon had that active sex life. <laughs> 
Do you know just, had, just had the, the fucking testosterone, like, just pumping through. <laughs> Everyone should be on test. <laughs> <laughs> Every action star, I don't care. Yeah. Fucking juice them up, man. To the gills. <laughs> <laughs> just HGH them. Fucking, why not? They should. Seriously. They're not going to get tested. It's not like you got to get <laughs> tested and then go do a movie. <laughs> this isn't real life here. <laughs> Let's do it. Otherwise, half the actors in Hollywood uh, would just be out from cocaine. Fucking badly. That eight ball still at my system. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Oh. <laughs> but uh, sticking with Netflix, so we finally got confirmation about all those, you know, those Marvel Netflix shows, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, all yeah. that. It's actually coming to Disney+. Plus. Yeah. And that's um, so... All the shows are leaving Netflix on the 1st of March mm -hmm. and we're going to get them on Disney Plus on the 16th. So like a fortnight later. Yeah. But now there's speculation around considering just how violent the shows were, things like that. Mm. Are we going to get it in a star category or is it just going to follow suit with the other Marvel shows? Or Hulu, that are Hulu for you uh, American viewers. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I reckon this would be the perfect opportunity for them to just be like, all right, cool. So we got star. Now we've got a Marvel Knights banner. Yeah. On Disney Plus. Yeah. Well, they they did say that, um, like, they're really pushing things now with different properties. Fuck sure. off. In, in as, as far as they can for both Marvel and, I think, that PG-13 rating, which is M over here in Australia. Because yeah. this opens a lot of doors for them to be like, all right, cool. Well, maybe we can just continue these shows as well. Mm. Because Punisher is violent as fuck. Yeah. And you can't have, like, a, you know, a PG Punisher. It yeah. kind of defeats the fucking purpose for me. Yeah. <sighs> So I was thinking about this because there's a couple of interesting things. There's one, the curation of it, mm. like Disney trying to collect these properties back under that banner, yeah, um, under that Marvel banner. But like the second thing for me was the timing. It drops two weeks before Moon Knight, mm. which makes me think that there might be some sort of connection um, between those shows and this property. Potentially, because yeah. we were talking about this ages ago with Midnight Suns. Yep. And the Punisher and Moon Knight are together in that category mm. as well. Mm. And if Bernthal's in, I'm in. <laughs> well, Bernthal said he's in. Yeah. Whenever they need him, he wants to play that character, but he wants to play him at the same pace and, and intensity that the other movie, the, the other shows were at. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. That his original show was at. The rumor swirling around right now is that Bernthal is Wolverine. That's the rumor. It wouldn't, wouldn't be the first time that, you know, someone's played a Marvel character. Twice. Twice. Yeah. True. It's a different Marvel character. Look at you, Chris the, Evans. <laughs> no. Yeah. And you fucking what's-his-face. Michael B. Michael B. Yeah. Yeah. That's the rumor that's swirling around. Okay. Maybe Bernthal should just play the human torch. <laughs> like, like, yeah. He, <laughs> he can't play that third property, eh? Yeah. Fuck. We have a new movie with John Bernthal playing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I, 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 uh, Moon Knight and everything. I don't. I don't think it's going to be that man. I think Moon Knight is. It's. It's going to be Blade. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know if what's his face is playing. You. You don't know who uh, what's his face is. Jake from Training Day. What's his name? Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke's playing yeah. it. It could be what's his face, Dracula. Yeah, which in turn would be would mean that that Blade is going to come in at the end of Moon Knight, which would be fucking mad as oh, well. Oh man, yeah. To see Mahershala would just like I don't know. Those would just sit there with like big erections, like just at the excitement of it. Yeah. E even if Moon Knight ends with just like someone getting chased, yep, and by a vampire, and then just like front. And then just to see them ash and you see the, the what's-his-face come through, the stake come through and just yeah. see them ash like that. Yeah. Beautiful. That's all I need. I don't even need Mahershala. <laughs> That's it. It's done. Keep him in the shadows. Yeah. <laughs> Keep him over there. <laughs> <laughs> At least let me get to see the mask. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine they did the shittest editing and you see like just... Um, it ends with Moon Knight and then you see a couple vampires they start running down the hall and it's literally just the start of Blade 2 <laughs> and they just cut it do in do 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 do. Yeah, and, they, and they superimpose Mahershala's face over Wesley that's wild but he's like <laughs> 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 oh, fuck 
That'd be so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> or just a glaive. If they just like showed that glaive come out. Yeah. And just them ashing like And that. then the hand catching <laughs> it. And the hand <laughs> catching the glove. <laughs> That'd be cool, man. Fuck. Fire. For the longest time, I was like, Mahershala has got to pick up some size. And then I remember Mahershala had a bit of size on me in fucking Moonlight. Yep. Yeah. And he's actually got the bulk to actually fit like the uh, the look of Blade as well. But even in True Detective, he's got a little bit of size on him. Yeah. Uh, that that new movie that he was in, um, he's he's got the double, he's got the clone. Yeah, he's, he's a bit bigger. Um, even in the the what's his face, I saw him when two months ago, three months ago, he was getting interviewed on Kimmel, and mm. he, he looked a bit bigger as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. But he's got like a year or two. Yeah, but he, he's tall as well, so he can hide it. True, right? Yeah. It's not like, I mean. Chris Evans, not Chris Evans. Yeah, Chris Evans, when you see him, he doesn't look yeah. jack, but he is. Yeah. 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 You see him in, what's the movie with Craig and him? Knives Out. Yeah. Yeah. And you see him in normal clothes, fire clothes, but like fucking, he yeah. doesn't look like he's brolic as fuck. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But I want them to take it like where you see Blade and he's like just in the vest. Yeah. Like there's some shots of like, Blade in the comic, and he's just got the fucking leather jacket. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, it's just wild. Yeah, but they well, usually keep that until the end of the film, right? Yeah, usually that's how Blade ends up just just in the vest. Yeah, yeah. He has that blood rage moment, and then he just fucking yeah. If yeah. They, I don't have to see that shit again for a third time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If they have that same formula, they might as well have just gotten Wesley yeah. back. Wesley is still the perfect Blade. Fuck yeah. Yep. Always will be. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Hmm. All right, so now we throw over to uh, to Amazon. Mm-hmm. So Amazon, um, they set a date of April eighteenth for the show called. Is it a show or movie? It's a. It's a fuck. A limited series. I think it's a limited. Yeah. Yeah, limited series called All the Knives. Right. So this one um, is going to star Chris Pine. Yep. Mm. And someone else. Yeah. Fuck, there's a few people in there. There's a whole show. bunch of people in there. Actually. Yeah. Fuck. You'd think, like, we didn't read the article. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, Fishburn. Yeah. Fishburn, Tandy yeah. Newton, uh, Jonathan Price is in there as well. So this one um, is, it follows Chris Pine, and he's like this seasoned CIA agent. So he's yeah. been in the game for quite a long time, right? There's this massive fucking leak that happens out of one of the offices. Yeah. So they don't know if it's in Austria or uh, in the US or in the UK, right? Yeah. So it's about his character investigating this leak and trying to find this mole that caused a hundred people to fucking die, a hundred agents to die. Mm, yeah. So it's him tracking tracking them down. Eventually he gets to the US. He's got the old miso there, Tandy Newton. Tandy where? Mm. Yeah. This one sounds fucking cool, man. Yeah. It sounds like the um, the start of Skyfall with the hard drive. Yeah. Because yeah, it's like them releasing the fucking knock list. Yeah. yeah. They released the, the list. We got to track these fuckers down. Yeah. Yeah. Inside job, obviously. Yeah. Has to be. But like Pine probably did it himself and he's trying to chase himself. That's, that's the story, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's memento. <laughs> Didn't they say something like, it came from one of the the um, the field offices where he came out of. Yeah, from Vienna. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this one is based on a book, um, and it, it looks like the the same writer of that book is actually going to write the write the the script. So or the screenplay. Fire. True. Really, I like when that happens. Yeah, like yeah, when yeah. Puzo like jumped into screenwriting, yeah. or when Gillian Flynn did it for Gone Girl. Yeah, but then Puzo went on to write fucking Superman. Superman. <laughs> True. That was like multifaceted it's and talented. What, like this guy is just just unbelievable. That's that story of the fucking Italian American that had to do like every odd job to fucking survive. Yeah, he he's the Johnny Sins of the Italian American <laughs> industry. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> your favorite astronaut. <laughs> 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 All right. It's your favorite actor's favorite actor. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. And that's it for streaming news this mm. week. Fuck, yep. should have just called Netflix news. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there was a little Amazon in there. <laughs> it's an original movie, by the way. Yeah. All the knives, yeah. 
Um, all right, kicking off with our film news. Mm-hmm. So uh, Uncharted mm. just dropped this past fortnight. Yeah. Spoilers. Came out. Spoilers, everybody. Yes, spoiler warning. Close um, your fucking ears. <laughs> So uh, it does include a mi- two mid credit sequences. Okay, oh, two. Yeah, mm. and they're they're almost they're cool, and I like these because they don't make you wait until the fucking end, Marvel. Mm. <laughs> but um, so these ones they happen once at basically the start of the credits. They'll just like drop it out, uh-huh. and then after that initial cast, you know, they sort of name the casts, name the cast and the credits, and then. They'll drop it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the first one is you find out that Sam is, in fact, still alive. So in the movie, he's believed to be dead. Okay. Oh. Do you guys want the spoilers? What yeah. the fuck am I... Do you? I don't care. Though. I don't care, B. This isn't like, you know, it's not like Heat 2 or something. Yeah. Like, I'm fine. <laughs> the, the game's in my that, movie. That <laughs> caliber of movie for me. <laughs> and then the second one basically is the precursor to the events of Uncharted 1. So them getting the map Mm. and um, introducing the character that introduces the lead antagonist of Uncharted 1. This, uh, oh, that's played by Pillar Eyes Bike, yeah? Yeah. 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 Um, So it's it's got those elements in there. By the end of that second mid credit sequence, you kind of feel like this is on track to become the Uncharted that we know from the games. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah. So there's that. They reshot some of those scenes to make sure that they lined up more with the game. Sully's green shirt. He's Wahlberg's got the mustache by the end of it, and it just it looks weird because Wahlberg mm. can't grow facial hair. Yeah. Um, and the gold gun and mentioning the villain's name. So um, Ruben Flesh said he had to actually um, reshoot that mm. to make sure it was more in line with that tone, with that feel and everything. So people would go, all right, shit. So we've just, what we witnessed was like the start of the story. And then what we're going to get going forward will be more in line with the games. Mm. To satisfy that fan sort of hunger, the hunger for more. <laughs> Lloyd Beck shout out I oh, know uh, There was a cameo in there From Nolan North He's on this He's beach He's on the beach yeah. yeah And Nolan North himself Who voices Drake In the original games mm. Kind of just said I didn't want it to be So self indulgent That it was all about me mm. I just wanted to Kind of go out there And have fun And then kind of Pass the torch Man's yeah. wanted a holiday Yeah Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense oh, man. <laughs> Um and then they talked about the sequels. So Sony is obviously keen on doing sequels now, with the fucking movie doing better than they expected. So they expected something in like you know, the early to mid twenties, but mm. they got like you know fifty one million that like first week out the gate. They made thirty five million this week. Yeah. When when you think about it, in the last six yeah. months, these guys have recorded over three billion dollars in revenue. Yeah. Yeah. From these fucking films coming back. That's Killing right. It. Yeah. And it would have been it. more. Had Morbius, had they kept the Morbius release date, which That's they right. fucking should have. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to get drowned out now. Mm. Yeah. But I almost think with them spacing it out to so No Way Home, Uncharted, because then you got that that synergy with, with Tom Holland going into Uncharted, which mm. probably paid dividends there. And then they've got, I think, two months later comes Morbius. Mm. And then you get the Marvel fix because they'd want to tie that almost to Doctor Strange in May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they knew what they were fucking doing. Back. Dirty oh. motherfuckers. We oh. see the crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dirty crumb Gretel. <laughs> <laughs> fucking 100%. What do you call it? Um, so on with Batman coming out soon, Matt yeah. Reeves is having an interview and he's talking about uh, potential like, you know, villains and like story for Batman mm. 2 if yeah. they do continue on. Now, he was saying that he would love to have Mr. Freeze in there. But he mm. was saying that because Mr. Freeze has a very, I guess, fantastical background to him mm. and he focuses more on a more grounded setting, mm. that he would take a lot of that and just have it more grounded moving forward as well. Mm. When you read, you, you need to watch a Matt Reeves interview because Matt Reeves talks real like, well, and this is how I would see it, and like, and well. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so <laughs> he's talking about taking the origin of Mr. Freeze and just Mr. Freeze as a whole and trying to work that out and trying to unwind it 
and make it more grounded so it does fit that more grounded setting as well. Yeah. Which is interesting when you think about it. It is. But at the same time, I feel like Mr. Freeze kind of a little bit like, you know, stained in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I love Schwarzenegger, man. But this one does shit the best. <laughs> I just love him for the dad jokes. I know. Allow me to break the ice. <laughs> 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 they could have got rid of ice to meet you i would love that one <laughs> i hate that that's the one that i hate the most <laughs> for me like regardless if arnie was mr freeze or not i would still sing that uh, frosty the snowman song because it's arnie screaming at me to sing it <laughs> come on sing <laughs> sing <laughs> sing <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, for, for me they like it, it's batman Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, just have the, the separate setting. The fuck's wrong with you? Not so much a separate setting, but it, it works more because you've got something fantastical in a real fucking world. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't have to explain it. It's yeah. not like he, he has to go to the government and say, hey, we want to put this in there. And it's a <laughs> fucking movie, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? At the end of the day, people are going to understand. It's Mr. Freeze. Yeah. He yeah. fell into a vat of shit trying to save his fucking wife. Oh, okay, cool. There you go. Yeah. That's his origin story. And now we've got a fucking villain that cruises around with a big old fucking gun that can freeze people. That's right. And prior to Freeze being Freeze, he was a real fucking smart guy. Yeah, exactly. exactly. He was a scientist, tried to help his wife, fucking crazy disease. You know he's a smart man. Yes. Just give him the things. <laughs> it's when you it's when you get rid of those aspects of it that where it, it just becomes unreal. Yeah. yeah. Like there's no way that someone's gonna like, you know, okay, you know what? I'll dive into this vat and just become a super villain. Yeah. yeah. No, it's the backstory behind fucking Mr. Freeze that makes it real. Yeah. Yeah. And well, fucking when you think about it, Batman and Robin, they they do it all right. They yeah. do do it all right. It's yeah. pretty good. That's yeah. that's the fucking story right yeah. there. And you know where it's fucking fire as well? Arkham City. Yeah, yeah, it it works well because he's still in a grounded setting, but you have Mister Freeze there. That's exactly, right. and that's the contrast. Batman can be Batman because his villains are fucking like you know fantastical. That's yeah. right. It like what Matt Reeves said there, and I love Matt Reeves. Yeah, like I love what he did with Apes. I love um fucking mm. uh is it let the right one in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like like I like the shit that he puts out, but not everything needs to be grounded. Mm. Know what I mean? Like he killed right there any thought of poison ivy of killer croc, like the of fantastical the, what's elements. The, the 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 villains that we haven't seen before, the yeah. Mad Hatter, the the Clayface, Clayface, yeah, all that sort of stuff, man. Like, come on, well, like even Batman's extended fucking gallery of allies as well as villains are very fantastical. Etrigan, yeah. for example, is a man who's possessed by like a demon. In a man mm. who transforms. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Man Bat. Like, as if you wouldn't want to see that. Exactly. And Man Bat's done so well in the games. Yeah. Fucking a social, not socially, a science experiment gone wrong. Yeah. yeah. Which, like, 90% of the fucking Batman villains are. But, like, still. Yeah. It just, it makes me think of these O's that they want to put blue cheese on a burger. And it's not because they fucking, like, you know, like burgers. It's because they like blue cheese. Yeah, like, make Batman. Yeah, <laughs> make don't Batman. make fucking like you know seven. No, and then like ah, oh, now everything has to be grounded. Fuck. Well, I mean, look at look at the villains that he's chosen for this one. For this this first Batman, yeah, they're very grounded. Yeah, mm. so to change it, just like flip it on its head now. Yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. That's what we want. That's what fans want. You know, I You've want. Already Sorry, dog. You go. I said you've already built the world. Yeah, just inject these characters. That's right. For me, I want him to stay as far away from the Joker as he can as well. Oh man, but he won't. That's he won't. that's the choice that he makes when he says shit like this. Is you only get Penguin, Joker, Riddler, Catwoman, maybe Two Face, Two Face, yeah, Bane, and it's all the shit that we've seen before. Yeah, and we, yeah. At the same time, we've gotten our grounded Batman with Nolan, mm. as grounded as grounded can be at that point. So I just want a little bit more faithful to our comic books as well. But, you know, there was a point in Dark Knight Rises where O's got excited because when Ray, when Raz comes back, 
And I was like, fuck, he used the Lazarus pits. The the Lazarus pits, yeah. Which would explain, like, you know, a lot of shit. Mm. And then it came, like, you know, it was just a figment of his imagination. I was like, all right, cool. We're we're, we're back in Nolan verse. Mm. (laughs) I think, you know, thinking about it now, that is the beauty of a Batman, like, game or comic or anything like that, is that fucking as dark as the shit can be, it's it's got these, like, supernatural elements in the background that sort of, put everything together. Mm. Yeah. It threads its way into your universe. Batman should represent everyone's dark urges to fucking, like, you know, right the wrongs of their past. Outside of the law. And it's not about the fucking, like, you know, the Superman or the fucking super-powered hero or something that defeats this big fucking monster. It's that a man can do it and he uses his brain first detective skills before he like Mm -hmm. and it's not just any man as well it's a man who was broken by his demons and then used his demons to beat the shit out of other motherfuckers exactly it's Mm. repurposing the fucking you know trauma of your part using that trauma and just molding it it almost makes me think matt reeves doesn't get it i don't think he does i think he wants to be like nolan yeah I think he thinks that this is going to be like his sort of fucking yeah. Let me suck Nolan off a little bit. <laughs> Pause. Yeah. It's almost like Nolan fucking creeped up and bit that O in the neck. Yeah. <laughs> like now yeah. you are grounded like I. <laughs> Drink from me and live forever. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So we're following on from the old dicks up there. <laughs> The John Carpenter came out and he was, um, who was it? I think it was Variety or one of those. They were talking to him about uh, Halloween and how, you know, this, yeah, Halloween, Halloween 3 is coming out, yeah. Yeah, Halloween ends, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this is going to be the last. <laughs> I just thought of Nolan getting his titties sucked. <laughs> Sorry, as I diverge. Swollen Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call him behind the scenes. <laughs> I don't sit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so the, he's, he was talking about how Halloween is definitely going to be the last Halloween. Mm. That, uh, what's his face? What's his name? As a director. David Gordon Green. Yeah. Yeah. David Gordon Green does. So he wants to end it. Where he ends it, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then the story went to uh, the thing. Yeah. And how, you know, he's... Carpenter is... is ta- He was talking about, like, more thing movies. Pause. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> more thing movies and how, you know, Blum, Jason Blum did approach him. He does want to do a remake of the thing. Yeah. Um, but he was actually talking about, like, a sequel to his one. Mm. Which would be cool. Which I mean, we got that in the game. Yep. Right. True. Yeah. Which John said was was canon. Yeah. So uh, which had a very interesting ending. But all I know is that what's his face was the uh, was a replicant essentially, was the thing. Russell. Russell. Yeah. yeah. When you're the last person alive, like <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of it's kind of weird because you you. Put your dollars on Russell not being the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's the beauty of it, though. But the yeah. thing was smart, though. That's what we forget, is the thing was smart. Yeah. yeah. So, obviously, it's going to destroy something and to make it look like it's he's, he's a regular person. Yeah. thing was smart. Yeah. But, yeah, there was also talks of more Halloween films from him, too. Um, it was It was more just that it was ending. Yeah. And that there's no plans at this point to actually do anymore. Or at least to continue this this one. Yeah. That they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Which I don't think they should. Like, Laurie Strode needs a send-off. The last send-off that she got was in that fucking Halloween resurrection. And it was dog shit. She dies in the first 15 minutes thinking that she killed Michael. And then he drops her ass off the fucking building. Right. I didn't even watch that one. What's That's the one face? with Buster. Yeah, yeah, I didn't watch that one. I, I, yeah, I, I kind of steer clear of these Halloween movies, to be honest. Like they really fucked up that timeline badly. They did. But yeah, um, it, it, it needs to end with like literally with her and him dying. Yeah, 
Yeah, but not just her and him. Like the that the the daughter now, the granddaughter, she got to go as well. <laughs> really? Yeah. All of them Strode's got to die. There's got to be no Strode's left on this fucking. No Strode's, no Myers. Yeah, that's it. That's how it's gonna end. Because they're killing you basically heard everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The thing that cunts me out. Evil dies tonight. <laughs> 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 the the first one was fucking awesome, as in like the the, the first one that Gordon Green did. Mm. Yeah, but then Halloween Kills was super fucking mid. Yeah, and it just like it left more like <laughs> questions open than fucking closed for me. Yeah, like I understood the mob just and all that, but there was just some scenes where it was just kind of shit. Like yeah. him getting his ass beat at the end, and then for some reason he just gets super strong and getting fucks everyone. Yeah. Up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> How did no <laughs> one have a gun in that scene? I don't get it. We're like middle America. Yeah. No one has a gun. No, no one has a gun. lighter. Yeah. <laughs> there was more organization in tactical shooter video games than in this fucking mob <laughs> justice fight. They tell you to go 3v1 if that's the case. <laughs> These motherfuckers are just 1v1ing him the whole time like it's, like it's an official fight. <laughs> the, the reason why I don't believe a lot of the shit that happens in Halloween Kills is because I would not follow Tommy Wallace if he was like, Evil dies tonight! I would, like, straight up disregard that out. I would. And turn my back on him. After yeah. everything I've seen. Yeah. I, nope. I'm sorry. <laughs> get this man out of here. Yeah. I'm just going to leave the fucking Haddonfield and get the fuck out. I would have just killed him on the spot. Straight <laughs> up. If I heard that, now nah, I'll kill you now because I know you're going to die later. You'd get that O committed for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> they all should have been fucking committed. Badly. Fucking hell. It's rough when the scene that like sticks out and I was like, I hope Michael kills these motherfuckers is when they chase that O yeah. and make him jump out the window. And yeah. I was like, fuck, I actually feel sympathy for them. But no sympathy for these O's that are just going to like, you know, the mob. The mob needs to go. Yeah. Yeah. And they did. They got dealt with. Yeah. <laughs> they got, got came out quickness. With, yeah. Michael came out with the moves on that one. He did. Why did it just be a moonwalk? He was training. <laughs> I always remember a pod with this though. Dave was like, I didn't know Michael was trained like that. <laughs> it's true though. I was always see him walk out with that fucking axe for the trailer for Halloween Kills. Yeah. And I was like, he always just die. <laughs> Uh, well, fucking <laughs> can you imagine if it turned into the fucking church scene from Kingsman oh my god I fucking would <laughs> alright <laughs> uh, so Bill Murray and Aziz Ansari are teaming up for this movie that um, and Aziz Ansari is actually making his directorial debut yeah. on uh, I think he wrote a big part of it as well and I think it's more of a personal story based on another, um, on, on a book as well, loosely, they're going to adapt it. Um, but it's going to deal with aging and death on a societal level. Um, so I think, I, like, I think it's going to be more like those interconnected stories. That's what it seems like. Right. Could not, but oh. maybe more dramatic fare from Aziz. Try to flex those muscles. Yeah, because comedians like they can turn that on and just perform and 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 bring that humanity to the situation. I'm pretty sure his character is going to be a dick, and then like sort of gets perspective. Yeah, well, we'll see. It'll be like that. Whatever movie fucking David Spade is doing in uh, Dicky Roberts, <laughs> something something's backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lovejoy, I think it's called something something weird like that. No, yeah. uh, Mr. Lovejoy is um, what's his face? Get Shorty. Oh. Oh. I was thinking of Reverend Lovejoy from The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm not that excited, but yeah, I need to see something first. That trailer is gonna make me cry. Yeah, yeah I say yeah. that now. That trailer is gonna be like, this is gonna be shit. And then that trailer is gonna come on. I was gonna be sitting there like, their eyes up and like looking up at the ceiling, trying to get the tears back in. I was, was watching this pachinko trailer. <laughs> yeah, that that <laughs> it's that piano hit. Ding, yeah, man. Ding, ding, ding. Not the Nolan piano. <laughs> 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 it sounded like what's his face there for a second. 
Lou Rolls. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you before we move on. Did they have the Uncharted theme song in the movie? Yeah. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. With those fucking horns. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Fine. But it, it, wasn't the, it wasn't the major theme in there. Okay. Which was like, I thought it was cool that they built it up. Mm. Okay. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, we also have, so Simu Lu, Shang-Chi, is joining um, Hello Stranger. Hello Stranger. <laughs> but, um, oh, hello there. <laughs> so this is a movie about a, a lady named Faye who loses her husband, Evan. Um, and this is in a society where they've built sims. Uh, yeah. So it's... Um, it's almost like a, a fake husband, if you would, an AI husband who has the same personality and same traits and everything like that. I think it's like a Black Mirror episode. Yeah. The, the I think this is also the second movie that they've made where it's like that Black Mirror episode. Yeah. yeah. And um, so this lady Faye, she doesn't love the, the fake Evan as much as she did the real one. Yeah. But then there's this government agency that's actually going after the so because um, they have to take down all the Sims who are a threat to mankind. So it makes you wonder, like, is this guy, like, he loves her so much that he's going to kill her or something like that? And that's why he's on the run and shit like that? It's I like don't know. The, the AI fugitive and shit. Yeah. Bas- basically Blade Runner. Yeah. <laughs> True. I wish he just went on a rampage. Yeah. yeah. He should just be like, nah, human life isn't, like, yeah. Yeah, that valid. <laughs> just do have that fucking montage from Halloween Kills. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't even, they literally just cut that <laughs> <laughs> just 3D map his face <laughs> big floating head yeah oh man this is the year for 3D mapping we're gonna do the Blade 2 intro of <laughs> and then we're gonna do Halloween Kills <laughs> oh, fuck. it does sound like Blade Runner this movie though yeah it, yeah but from the replicants point of view yeah. yeah yeah but I was always a you know I was always a supporter of the replicants. Same. Yeah. Like, you kind of feel for them when you learn about them in Blade Runner. Yeah. As soon as Rutger says what he says... Yeah. At the end of that first Blade Runner, it's like, yeah. Yeah. You were on the wrong side. Yeah. Yeah. All tears are lost, like... Like tears in the rain. Like tears in the rain. Yeah. Yeah. The desert spits the rain. Yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) What a balling song. Fuck it. Oh. (laughs) Walk out that door. (laughs) I just want to get that bad damn, like, (laughs) opening it up kind of vibe. (laughs) 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 Dust the splits. (laughs) I I saw a video from that Viking Samurai, and it was like, how to do the splits. (laughs) No. (laughs) <laughs> do the splits, my guy. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, man. <laughs> Your fan base would not want to learn how to do the fucking splits either. I just see I was like, like once they learn how to do the splits, try to get that shit off yeah. at just like random times. <laughs> like just out working between two <laughs> chairs and shit. <laughs> Eating your lunch casually. Yeah. But like, <laughs> just sitting in the car with like a leg out each window. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> but Van Damme really took the practicality as well, like Time Cop when he does the splits on the kitchen bench so he yeah. doesn't get electrocuted. <laughs> yeah, he did do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Why would you, like, you You would seriously only be able to meditate like that for like two minutes. Yeah. And then your legs would be fucked. Yeah, uh, I don't think you'd even be able to meditate. Like, because you'd be so, like, strained. Yeah. Because you got to hold that shit. Yeah. It's not like it just like locks in <laughs> and then you like you're good to go for hours. It's funny that we say that because like, you know, I mean that's how Van Damme got that movie. Yeah. <laughs> just like pushed two fucking chairs apart and just did that in uh Golan's office. <laughs> <laughs> His arms crossed. Yeah. <laughs> Smash it. We have something for you. <laughs> <sighs> and that's it. Yeah, that is all of our film news. Yes, sir. All right, Mostly th- centered on uh, Halloween there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We're seven months early. <laughs> oh, no. We need more Halloween kills montage. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now it's time to fan the hammer. Fuck, I missed that sound. Mm. Okay. 
So Cinderella is the Oscars' favorite for the uh, the fan the fan award, okay. which is terrible. Yeah. Uh, Peacemaker set a new record over at uh, HBO HBO Max for streams, which is great. Yeah. Uh, John Watts is up for a secret Star Wars series set in the was it the Middle Age? No, High Republic. Uh, High, High Republic, Republic age. Yeah. So so think of uh, uh, Knights of the Old Republic. There, uh, we got some boogeyman casting. Boogeyman. Uh, David Asmolchian, Marin Ireland, Vivian Lyra Blair, and Madison Hugh. Uh, Dan Stevens joins that uh, Chippendale series, Immigrant, with uh, Nanjiani in there. Mm. Uh, Lyric Ross joins uh, Ironheart over at uh, Disney+. Plus. Uh, we've already spoken about who's actually you know, cast in there. Yep. Shane Black. And Robert Downey Jr. are going to reteam for a you know another adaptation of Parker. Yeah, which sounds pretty cool. Hugh Grant is joining Chalamet over at uh, Wonka. It's probably his dad. Mm. Uh, we got our first look at um uh, Killian Murphy. Yeah, Killian yeah. Murphy and Oppenheimer. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a nice little black and white number there. Mm. He was smoking too. I've seen pictures of him smoking as well. So yeah, uh, Fred Heckinger has joined Craven. Undisclosed role. We chameleon. Ah, oh, he's chameleon. Yeah, it's this one, Aaron Pierre. Yeah, who joined Blade yeah. in an undisclosed role. Mm. He might just be young Blade, to be honest. Yeah, sure. which makes sense. Looks like him actually. Yeah, uh, James Mangold is planning a Buster Keaton biopic, which I can't fucking wait for. That's yeah. gonna be fucking awesome. Fuck mm-hmm. Greatest stunt man in the world. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen joined Disclaimer, so that's um, Quaron's yeah. new film. Mm. Yeah, uh, the Meg Two. Adds uh, Sienna Gilroy, Skylar Samuels, and Sergio Perez Manchetta, and Wu Jing as well. As well. And Lee Bing Bang. Bing Bing. Bing Bing. Exits. Yeah. Wow. I know. It's wild. She don't want to go to jail for the next two months again. Fuck, yeah. Because she just disappeared off the map. 355 just dropped and she was gone. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Renfield re- is going to release on April 14th from Universal. Yep. And uh, Disney uh, says that Haunted Mansion is coming out March 10th, 2023. Yeah, Lakeith Stanfield. Stanfield. And what's his face? Uh, Tiffany Haddish is in there as well. Owen Wilson as well, yeah. Owen Wilson. Yeah. Owen Wilson making a comeback. Huh? He never really left, to be honest. Yeah. Didn't he? I nah, thought he nah, had nah, a little nah. break there. Mans could. Like, well, he doesn't need to make movies anymore. Uh, okay. That's why. But this is the climb back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Owen Wilson Loki goaded from Loki onwards as well. Yeah, unless he, yeah. he needs to do a bloody Tarantino flick where he's just dirty or something. Yeah, oh, but he's like on that uh, Paul Thomas, not Paul Thomas, Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson, yeah. yeah. Tip. Well, it's him, <laughs> him and the other brother as well. Luke Wilson. Luke Wilson. Yeah. I think Luke Wilson's like devolved into the DTV hell, whereas Owen Wilson just like, you know what? Are we going to take a break? Yep. <laughs> just, wow. Just, wow, it, it just disappeared. I think, I think Owen Wilson Pew! just always had the better like star power than his yeah. brother, though. Yeah. He was smart as well because he had an iconic voice and fucking went to animated movies. Yeah. That and That's the, how you stay immortal, my friend. The broken nose stories just kept him alive. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Vanning. The Hammer. The All hammer. right. Let's get into some movie trailers here. Mm-hmm. So we got our first look at We Crashed with Jared Leto and uh, Anne Hathaway there, uh, which looked pretty good. Got a look at Panama with Gibson and um, Cole Hauser. Yeah. Uh, Ozark, which got me excited and found out that the next season, the next part of the final season, is dropping April 29th, so it's just around the corner. I literally thought they were going to be like, november is Same, yeah, next year, next 2023. Year, yeah. No. Nope. They need it right now. I think Netflix is a little starved for uh, content, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah. yeah I got that feeling. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. Netflix, they got Adam Project dropping next, on the 11th of March. Oh, uh, yeah. That's fucking big business, man. Ryan For Reynolds, everybody. Sean Levy. I'm excited. Mm. Yes, sir. Um, but the trailer that I was most excited about this week was one called Pachinko. Mm. Mm. So I wrote down the names because I'm not, I don't want to fuck up um, the names here. Yeah. So we got uh, Yu Jung Yun, uh, Lee Min Ho, Jin Ha, 
Min Ha Kim, Soji Arai, Kaho Minami, Steve Sang Hun No, Jun Wu Han, Yuna Jian, and Jimmy Simpson, which was such a weird kind of jump at the end there. Mm. Um, so it stars at, at the show or the movie. No, it's a show. It's a show on Apple TV Plus. Show, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's about the Korean um, migration into Japan. Oh, sorry. Uh, Japan invading Korea. Yeah. And how Korea kind of changed over the years, generationally. Um, so this is a famous, I don't know if it's a book or a play or something like that, but it's in the zeitgeist there somewhere, and I, I don't know about it, so I'm not going to sort of talk about how I loved it from, like, day one and shit. <laughs> Which most people are going to fucking do. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, mate. <laughs> um, but... Uh, this shows that even though the errors, the times, the generations are changing, there's so many similarities between those that made choices back in the day and the choices that um, your ancestors make now. Mm. Um, and it looks fucking quality. Oh, man. This shit it's looks Apple. good. It, it, it looks like, you know, there's like some interesting perspective there, um, but also tugging on the heartstrings. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And it fucking looks fire. Like, I mean, I'm definitely in for this. It's in line with, like, a lot of the Korean programming that Apple TV Plus was doing with Dr. Mm. Brain. And, like, they had a couple of other things on there as well. Um, and, man, I'm in for this. This shit looks good. Yeah, man, those Koreans don't play. It's weird to think that Japan would try and invade Korea, right? Mm. Mm. And then Korea turns around and it has, like, a massive civil war. And then yeah. splits itself. Yeah. It's fucking wild. It's yeah. the only time that's ever happened, right? Mm. Like right now, there there is no North and South in the US. Yeah. 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 That's wild. That is wild. Yeah. Yeah. But um, the other trailer was Under the Banner of Heaven. So mm. this is the ad. It's Andy Garfield, yeah? Andrew yeah. Garfield? Andrew Garfield. We'll call him Andrew now. He's old. <laughs> <laughs> call him Harold Potter. <laughs> What do you call it? Um, so this is the one where uh, Andy Garfield is a detective. And um, so he gets brought to a crime scene where there seems to be like a serial killer going around, but the, the deaths that are happening just aren't normal. Mm. Like there seems mm. to be this weird sort of cultish behavior behind it and he's trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Yeah. But it just looks fucking cool because he's a very like religious detective, things yeah. like that. And this is all starting to make him question that religion. So he's going down this rabbit hole. Yeah. And it just looks fucking cool, man. Yeah, man. Sounds like the prequel to uh, True Detective. Yeah. yeah. But we know how Russ Cole became Russ Cole. Oh, yeah. 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 Little priest. I um, I like uh, that he's like this man of faith that like goes and gets tested. Yeah. That sounded weird, but... Yeah, like his faith is tested. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, which will probably make for like the most interesting character. Like Andrew Garfield's really like grown up. Yeah. I found like yeah. this, he looks very different from how he looked even in No Way Home. Like, he yeah. doesn't look yeah. like he's like, you know, having fun in this one. Yeah. <laughs> well, s- go on. I still haven't watched that. Is it Tick, Tick, Boom or whatever? Yeah, I haven't watched that I either. I haven't watched that either. But, it's supposed to be um, fire though. Yeah, we've said that's the, the best performance of the year. Yeah. So I, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> check them shit. I know. <laughs> <gasps> Who's up for? He's up, yeah. Yeah, he's up. He's up. Yeah. Who else is up for best actor? Yeah. Mm. Fuck. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know either. I know he's up. That's yeah. it. If if that's the only one that stands out, then he must be the best. There, there is a couple. Like uh, Denzel is up. Does he deserve another Oscar for, uh, you know, just talking Shakespearean? I I thought he brought that language to light. Like, the only reason I could vibe yeah. and get through that movie is because of his performance. Oh, really? Yeah. Denzel, like, he's had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let somebody else win Denzel. Yeah, <laughs> It'd be his third fucking Oscar. Yeah. Yeah, it would. Can you give your Oscar away? You can't give your Oscar away, can you? You, you gave can the Ving Rames did. Gave uh, it to John Voight. No, I don't no, know. No, if gave, gave it to Jack Lemon. Ving uh, Rames gave his Oscar to Jack yeah, Lemon. Yeah, it was. Uh, Marlon Brando uh, refused to accept his. Yeah. For Godfather. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
and yeah. had a Native American God yeah. and, and accepted on his behalf. That's just a power move, man. Yeah. That is. I don't blame him. Was yeah. he there? Or did he just not show up to the Oscars altogether? <laughs> <laughs> he just sent someone to... He sent to, someone. Yeah. That's how uh, Brando got down. Like, just fuck you. Yeah. Send someone up. Do my own thing. Yeah. Like, Brando was like, he was like elliptic, like, like he just lived in his own world. <laughs> like, literally. Yeah. Literally lived in his own world. Not yeah. elliptic, fucking solipsistic. Sil- yeah, had his own trying to be brand of reality. <laughs> <laughs> but then on the other hand, you have uh, Nicholson who absolutely loves that, that sort of stuff. Yeah. And he would be there to accept every every award that he got. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Nicholson just killed that shit though, man. Nicholson was so good. Yeah, he's got yeah. the most. But Nick Nicholson understood that in order to get films made, he had to play a certain game yeah. as well. Like if he did well... On the, the producing side, he got more pull on the movie. Yeah. He could get the projects that he wanted to get made done. Yeah. He knows how to play the game. Because he... At least he knew how to play the game. Yeah. Like, yeah. Who, who did he tell? I'm not just an actor. I'm a filmmaker. Uh, what's his face? George Miller? Yeah, George Miller. Yeah, on Witches of Eastwick. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he wanted to make that movie. Yeah. That's what he wanted to do. Yeah. And he wanted George Miller. Yeah. Yeah. So you just fuck it up, put more money in it. Yeah. yeah, or I'm walking. <laughs> yeah. He did it on Batman as well. You don't have to shut down every Friday on Batman <laughs> so that he could fly, oh, from, fly from New York to go watch the Lakers game courtside and then fly wow. back. That's so mad. And they were paying for that. You know, on that movie, he made nearly $180 million. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he wasn't fucking around because he produced that one as well. Do you reckon? Shit. Do you reckon when they were working out the suit and shit, he asked them, like, the purple, can it be Lakers purple? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's, you look at that purple. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wonder if it was him who was just like, you need to make it Lakers purple. <laughs> can you imagine if, like, Jack Nicholson just did a quick set there? <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> Jeez. Uh. Yeah. And the last trailer this week was The Man Who Fell to Earth. So oh. this is the one with Shiwatel and... Um, Naomi Harris. Naomi Harris. Yeah. Right. So yeah. this this is the one where he's an alien that falls to Earth, mm. um, and basically tells Naomi Harris's character, who's a scientist, that you know your Earth is dying, and it's going to follow the same the same um, it's going to follow the same things that happened to my <coughs> to my planet. Yeah. So you need to we need to change some stuff some stuff here. Yeah. And get your earth back in like, you know, proper working order. Yeah. So that I can go back and save my planet. Mm. Yeah. This one looks so cool, man. Yeah. It's a showtime. Who showtime, showtime, yeah. Yeah. Showtime. Showtime's put some money into this show. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, it looks big time. unbelievable. The the it opens up this trailer with the, the voiceover from him. And just the way that he's speaking is so different. Yeah, mm. it, it does almost. It's English, but it sounds almost alien. I I almost thought that was Bowie speaking. Yeah, at the start, mm. what sounded like it. I don't know. I haven't seen the original. Have you seen the original? With There's Bowie? an original for this. Yeah, with Bowie. The nah. man who fell to earth. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't watched it. It's just it's it's weird. Some some of the, some of the the delivery of it mm. sounds. It does sound very songy, actually. Yeah, that you would. Never. Yeah. 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 It does. The way that he speaks is very, very different. It's almost like someone who's fluent in, in, in English, but they've only read it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. They haven't actually spoken it before. Yeah. 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 It looks cool though, man. It does look. Yeah. It does very look. Very interesting. But then I've seen so many, um, like of these sci-fi shows, like dropping on Apple. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I I just don't go for them for some reason. No. Nah. It's weird. I didn't even finish off Dr. Brain. Me neither. And I was in. Same. Like, after that first two, I was like, all right, cool. Something came out. Yeah. I don't know. Pushed it off the... I, I, I finished off all of Ray Donovan, by the way. Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. And the movie. Oh, shit. Was it good? Yeah. Yeah. It was a good ending. Oh, the movie was out. Yeah. What? It's on Paramount. I just 
Fucking Lou Rawls, man. And that's it. That's it for for everything. There is no entertainment news this week. No. There was nothing. No. Um... But next week, we're back with our thoughts on the Batman. Yeah. Uh, we've also uh, we've got the, the fucking What's-His-Face trailer dropping. Um, David Leach movie. I want to say Money Train. Bullet Train. Train. Bullet Train. Oh, fuck you, dude. <laughs> 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 yeah. Loretta really did that shit. He, he, he delivered in that movie. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. Fucking David Blake. Yeah. Um, so we've got that trailer coming out next week, which is going to be fire. Uh, yeah. mm. I don't know if there's anything else dropping next week. I don't believe there is. No, we've got like a couple of couple of. I think in April, I think April first, Morbius drops. Yep, and then after that, it'd be strange. Strange, yeah, strange. Hey. Yeah, who like honestly, I blade my job in there too. Fuck, if they could, if Sony is like you know intent on keeping that relationship open with Marvel. They fucking like sometimes it just seems like they're like, yeah, all right, like you can help on this one. Like, we made you, motherfucker. It's our universe now. They well, they, it, it <laughs> says it's it's part of the MCU. Does it? I think so. It, it just happens in different countries where our other heroes aren't. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of feel like if Venom's part of the MCU, then. The Morbius has to be. You should be. Just Morbius makes sense. If yeah. if if Blade doesn't show up at the end of Morbius and say, "Make me a fucking serum," I don't know. That's just like a missed opportunity, big time. Yeah, but only Marvel will see it that way. That makes like it just makes sense. Yeah, I'm. I'm also wondering, just like fucking, they need to just put Blade. <laughs> they just need to get him the fuck out there. You know what yeah. I mean? So many avenues, man. Morbius, for some reason, looks more violent than their other movies. It's more violent than Venom. It yep. looks more violent than fucking what's his face, the Spider Man. Even this new Spider Man that came out. Yeah. I low key wanted Morbius to be like the fucking Benicio Wolfman movie. That level of violence. <laughs> That would no, be that fucking would be wild. Over the top. Sony's violence. not making any money on that movie. Because no, 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 no. I always think about when he fucking grabs that guy by the jaw and you see it just mm. out his yeah. mouth like that. Mm. But that was Rick Baker too. <laughs> he fucks right. up like that. Morbius just needs to play like a horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they did say the line between hero and villain will be broken. Oh, fuck <laughs> <off>. Grasshopper. <laughs> 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 fellas uh, predictions predictions how much money do you think the batman's gonna make next week fuck um i reckon domestically u.s okay. domestically u.s domestically i reckon the batman is dropping 50 mil yeah yeah i reckon around 40 yeah 40 yeah what about it's you what do you reckon there's no holidays over there it's not president. Uncharted took the Pres- last one. President's Day or something like that. Un- Uncharted took it. The next one, I think, is July 4th. Or Easter. Yeah. There's, it's going to be the first weekend. Parents are going to fuck up and take their kids. <laughs> and then they'll learn from there. So we're going to make a lot of fucking money. There's a lot of considerations because they originally projected $190 million. That's not mm. Which isn't going to happen. The movie's close to three hours. Subject matter that's close to R-rated. They're pushing it. Yeah. Um, kids, I don't think, are as interested. I haven't heard much fanfare from, like, you know, the kids in my circle, which sounds very pedophilic, mm. but it's not, all right? Um, He's a father for Christ's sake. <laughs> uh, like, kids just aren't, I don't think, like, showing up for Batman. No. Nah. I think the parents are, and... Like, they haven't done much to push into, like, you know, this is from the maker of the fucking Planet of the Apes mm. movies. Yeah. I don't think you go for it unless you're, like, uh, a movie buff and you'd be like, oh, Matt Reeves directed this. I love this. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, at most, I'm saying 65 million. I think that's mm. that's a good number for them to hit. Yeah. But this movie costs, like, $400 million to make. Yeah. Right. Plus, so that's kind of shitty. Is that marketing included? <laughs> nah. No, because they, they shut down for six times. Because yeah. there would have been a lot of fucking marketing for this movie. Who was talking about in, it? 
in the last in the last two months there has been fucking three trailers tv spots all the posters that have come out you know like constantly like they'll have the nba game going right and then it'll just flash to like a trailer of the batman and you'll just see the score they won't show the game you'll just see the score but the, the trailer's playing for the batman <laughs> it's yeah, wild that's big money right there yeah yeah, yeah. i yeah i reckon 50 i think 65 is doable 65 well. is doable considering like those Lord of the Rings films like would do those those yeah. numbers. Yeah. They're about that long. And that was during the Christmas break. So that would like, you know, yeah. over four over four days, that'd be like 90 million. Yeah. 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 Oh God. Yeah. I reckon 40 million is also doable as a lower estimate just because of like, you know, like shit mm. fucking just warming up over there in the States yeah. as well. I reckon we're, lo- we're looking at a maximum of 120 million worldwide. Yeah. I reckon, yeah. Because it, it only launches in, in China in two weeks. Oh, fuck. Fuck, yeah. I reckon, like, tickets, we're going to make, like, you know, 40 to 65. And then merch on top of that, how many Batman parties are we going to get? <laughs> <laughs> fuck, yeah. I, 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 I want the Batmobile for the pod. Like, I want to buy a bust of it. Mm. Yeah. Like the No Time one. Yeah. Front there. <laughs> <laughs> I got brought <laughs> <laughs> All right. But that's it. That's a wrap. Yep. Mm. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Follow us on all social media Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube, TikTok. Oh, mm. shit. Yeah. Around the clock. Um, and yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks yeah. for hanging with us. Sorry about the break. Mm. Lots of shit that happened in between, but we're back and we're back, baby. And we're going to be fucking releasing every week for like, you know, the foreseeable future. Until yeah. we have a fucking break because we deserved it. We earned it, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Right? We ain't taking this long a break again. Ever, no. Ever again. Don't none of you move house Maybe a in week. December. Nothing. Maybe a week we take a break. That's a break. Yeah. Enjoy the holidays a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but we will see you guys next week. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Uh, take care of yourselves. Love yourself. Love movies. Vape more. Smoke less. And uh, wash your ass. <laughs> <laughs>